Actually, Madhavan told you there was an actress who signed the movie, but I recommended Kangana's name, and I recommend, and everybody also approved that. That actress who signed that movie was me. I was literally thrown out of the film industry society. Like, ये तो मर चुकी है. Like. I was removed from six movies in the in the past, and there are a lot of actresses who have been removed and replaced by others. Because since Sushant also came from Bihar, and 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 I had no answer because you know what could I answer? You know we always have an image that Bihari is not. I felt that you know maybe Shahid could have done something. And I said, Irfan, I am in uh, New York, and if you can uh, connect me to LA, and I want to make my own, own opportunities, this could be a good opportunity. If I, I'm seen as a global actor. पैसे देने पड़ते हैं एक्शन सीखने के लिए. खुद ही को कर बुलन इतना कि खुदा भी पूछे बोल तेरी रज़ा क्या है. Neetu Chandra, welcome on Bollywood Angama. Thank you so much, Faridun. Appreciate it. you are representing the country in the in the sphere of hollywood tell us tell us more about it well yes uh, luckily i was i'm fortunate to get this franchise he never back down with sony motion pictures and i'm a lot of people have been a big fan of never back down when it when it came the first part in 2008 and then I, when i saw it in the second part third mm. part this is the fourth part and i play one of the main leads among two girls and I think this is this is the best thing ever happened to me because I'm a trained martial artist represented in death three times a black belt four than in taekwondo and it was just that I manifested it and I got this it is directed by Kali Medicin we shot the film in London we shot everything uh, I did my own stunts so I'm excited about that as well and Tim Mann who is one of the biggest fight masters of the world he's done biggest of the films uh, if you google him you'll see the the so called matrix and all of the movies and he's the one who's choreographed the whole fight and i believe one of the um, main reasons uh, for you backing the project was your uh, prowess uh, with the martial arts so when i started talking to david zalon the producer he said all the actresses in the world are pretty and what is a those assets and skill sets which gets uh, you the opportunity to you know to deserve a project and i said yes i think i have something which not everybody has but a lot of girls uh, they do martial arts and uh, and that there is when he offered me never back down and he said i might be having a project for you it's like okay great and and then i met the uh, the writer audrey and she they have literally wrote this uh, the character around me and i was very happy for that and i believe you're playing a brutal fighter yeah I play the champion. See, I I did a pre-conditioning of uh, you know of the whole thing because I knew that three weeks I had to train with Tim Man, and it was not an easy thing because I am trained in Taekwondo, and they would come with Jiu Jitsu and MMA plus the plus kickboxing, which were their uh, art skills, and then they incorporated Taekwondo as well because it would uh, be easy for me to. you know perform uh, with different kinds of uh, martial arts in this and then when i started training with tim man uh, he asked me what are your comfort zones and i said round kick back kick flying kick 180 degree stretch and all of it and then he incorporated those kicks as well before that i ha- i went vegan totally i knew that you know i had to leave uh, salt and sugar and wheat and you know all those favorite things of ours we just left completely and then we the, i started preconditioning myself in mumbai it's, itself with amrit dole which is my trainer who's my trainer uh we started working with that and then uh first week of uh, october i was there uh training with tim man and then the then the whole training and followed by the shoot okay and how has covid impacted the release well on the sets we had covid inspectors which you used to call them covid in- inspectors they are the whole set uh, team uh, who was there and they used to uh, test us every 3 3 days every day there was of course the temperature check and all of those was there but apart from that they would be very very careful on wearing the masks and gloves and we wouldn't we were not allowed to hang out in a, in, in groups until as the director is really having a conversation so we were very careful on that and uh, the shoot was also crazy because it was one degree and one degrees 
on the ground level and then we were shooting in the basement which was five levels down so it was literally frozen where we were shooting and in the uh, in the fight uh, uh, we were bare feet mm. right so after a point i was totally numb i didn't know what was going on hota hai jab tu marte ho to literally it becomes like literally numb when you are in especially in winter's time and uh, initially i was very scared of all these things i thought you know ab mujhse to hoga nahi itni thand hai aur mumbai mein we don't there's no winters winter so called in mumbai right so we're not used to that kind of weather what about the release plan of it when is it going to be releasing 5 6 months time as any other movie which is it's in the post right now the editing is going on tell us something about uh, this this entire move towards the west uh, there have been um, actors in the recent times who have tried that and and have been successful as well like for example priyanka for example deepika did one film and after that she has been concentrating primarily on on uh, bollywood how tough is it to just make that move to the west first of all i haven't moved there you know uh, as as such people keep asking me you have left hindi cinema so i just want to clarify on that that not left hindi cinema i have had, i actually i have a hindi film releasing in 3 months time called bhagwan bharose bharat with paresh rawal randeep huda um pankaj tripathi uh, and uh, with amit trivedi's music so that is one movie which is releasing uh, my idea was to go globally and make your own opportunities and that's why i also did a greek film the promos are on youtube i am doing a korean tv series as well and uh, and i produce films from uh, my roots so uh, my idea was that you know uh, people when i started meeting people they thought i was a brazilian or an italian you know or you know a french which and i was like uh, you know this could be a good opportunity if i i'm seen as a global actor and today the world has become very small everybody mm, is just a call away or the technology is very you know they they get everybody together so when i went to la i realized that the uh, if you see a lot of movies or web series there are a lot of indian characters which are very prominent and they are cast in either the main leads or on the most uh, you know important roles there and uh, when you move there you become little lonely because you totally new here it was the same case when i moved from bihar to mumbai i was totally alone i didn't know anybody in mumbai as well when i moved 14 years back to mumbai but it is a different country altogether when you go to us and wahan pe you know you totally get alone and and homesick for sure but then you know when you preparing for something then your time is totally invested in that and that is uh, it becomes easy because you know that you're focusing on something as you know i'm really uh, happy and very impressed the way priyanka has made her uh, you know her way and she is going ahead with a lot of projects coming in and you know we were just reading everything so i think she has uh, opened the doors for a lot of us and uh, when there are a lot of people in la uh, you know they keep talking about priyanka in a very positive light which is uh, which is very inspiring and uh, you know i'm very very proud of it for sure and she knows it i have told her a couple of times so uh, priyanka or dipika or nimrit kaur or irfan khan you know all these people anupam kher all of these people have literally opened the doors for especially south asian actors to go and make their mark there and i think i just followed them and figured out that i could do this since i was trained martial artist and i was it is a cliche but it it just says we always say that you are there at the right time and i was there at the right time to get this option at the same time if we uh, look at what what priyanka has managed apart from the fact that uh, she made a she made an impact with a big tv series that was that was genuinely big and that was going all across the world at the same time uh, she was uh, very bullish about uh, the way she marketed herself the way she was seen at the right places in terms of the the red carpets and the and the award shows and the interviews that she did and and the, and the the way she was covered by the media and the press that was on another level as well do you think that is important because uh, that visibility that she has got because of her appearances and interviews has been massive yes i totally agree with you faridun that uh, uh, as much as you are working on the content it has going all out in marketing and having the right pr and everything is equally important but that remember that only happened once her trailer came out 
you know before that there was no buzz about it nobody knew actually she was under a contract with abc that you know she cannot market anything from the project which is my contract with sony motion pictures as well but once the trailer comes out and you know once i play one of the main leads I mean, you may, everybody would know that you know this is an essential part that you uh, go all out marketing yourself and figuring out. And since Brillstein, if you remember Brillstein Gray Management Company from LA, were taking care of Irfan Khan's work as well. And uh, just a, a month back, they had uh, now they are on board with me. So they have their own strategies. And if you you know if you see um, you know if you Google IMDb Pro and write my name, you'll you'll see it's written managed by Brillstein Gray Management Company. So uh, since I don't come from a background of a, like literally an army background where, you know, you have a team to already, I'm building brick by brick for the doing. Yeah, today, uh, this is where we stand, but uh, I'm sure we can build it up and uh, with, the, with the work coming and you guys seeing everything, it will automatically go to at that, go to that level because I also have two more Hollywood projects with me. Tell us something more about your your journey so far. You've been seen in uh, varied varieties of film, including big commercial successes like Garam Masala. You've been part of Traffic Signal, which national award at the same time uh, critically acclaimed. So how do you sum up your journey so far? Yeah, you know, like any other uh, kid coming in the industry, make, standing in the queues and giving auditions for ad films and stuff. I also started at 16, 17. First was Garam Masala. Then, you know, what better could happen than Akshay Kumar and John Ibrahim? you know, in the movie, then Traffic Signal National Award, Oi Lucky Lucky, Oi, another national award, working with Mr. Bachchan in run, 13B with Madhavan. So all these things were going very, very well. And I think the industry has given me four years to work with them. And then after 2009, when I, my, I lost my dad, uh, I literally slowed down everything and started doing theater because Mira, but it was just, just like, you know, I was all uh, moved and my mother also fell sick. So I was like, okay. Right now I have to be with my mother. And that's what happened. Then after two years, I started my own production house and uh, with my brother. And we got the first national award for Bihar ever because I always thought that um, there are five languages of Bihar and uh, there's no respectful at, or, or great content coming from there. And there are such educated people all over uh, the world from Bihar and their five languages. So we started working on that. And that's how we got the first national award for Bihar ever. Uh, in Maithili language. Uh, then I started doing theater, Umrao Jan, and that happened with me. And I was live on stage for two hours, playing a girl from 17 years of age to 85 with Rekha Bajwa's music. That, and then 2015, I started traveling and I, and I have followed you for a long time and, and hearing my co-actors talking about you know, some of the films which, uh, which somebody else was cast and then you know, uh, I was, I'm talking about Madhavan. He said, oh, in Tanu, it's Manu. And, and you you can go back and figure out because I saw you from there. Madhavan said, oh, there was another actress who was signed for Tanu, it's Manu, but I recommended Kangana's name. And uh, <laughs> and that's how Kangana came in the movie because everybody approved of her. But that actress was me. That, you know, the one who had signed Tanu, it's Manu earlier. So these, kind, these are the kind of things which kept happening because, you know, uh, I was removed from six movies in the in the past, and uh, literally, uh, when you don't come from anywhere, when you, there was nobody will call you, pick up the phone and call. Oh, Neetu is damn good, and uh, you should work with that. Doesn't happen with me. Neetu only calls for Neetu, so <laughs> this is what happens. But but I think this is a this is journey, and this is how I had to learn things, and this is how I had to reach here. And I'm a very positive person coming from a sports background. I'm also one of the faces of NBA basketball of India. And that's kind of uh, meditation for me. Uh, right now, I've been working for Cancer Patients AIDS Association for 12 years. And abhi teen saal se, I'm also the brand ambassador for Teen Cancer American Association. And many people are asking me today that my accent is more than two or three years ago. But I want to tell them that I'm giving money to give my money to give my accent. So please let it be. And unless I have this accent, I will not get any work. So let it be. Don't. Just, just, just don't judge me. So, so that's a fun side of it. I'm uh, having so much fun, Faridun. I'll tell you, I have 
thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy kicks and all the punches and all the throwing in this movie. And people like Michael Bispin has actually thrown me, uh, you know, uh, UFC middle uh, weight world champion who's very, like, very important part of the movie has been, uh, you know, in this movie, Never Back Down, I'm talking about. So going back to 2015, I started traveling. And when I was in New York with my uh, my aunt is a dentist there and I messaged Irfan Khan and I said, Irfan, I am in uh, New York and I, I really appreciate if you can uh, connect me to LA and I want to make my own, own opportunities. Because India is uh, not only work in India, hai, I can work anywhere in the world. Why not? I to take a plane, we will go somewhere, right? So uh, Irfan was like, started laughing and he did connect me to Jay Khanna, who was his manager. And then I started, I went to LA for the first time when Irfan had sent me to meet Jay. And recently, uh, you know, when, uh, you know, I connected with Jay and said, you remember Irfan had sent me to meet you. And he was like, of course, how can I forget that? So there have been really nice people as well who were very secure to connect you to different people, uh, realizing that kisi ki destiny kisi ke saath nahi hoti. You, know, you have, everybody has their share in parts and then traveling and then meeting people. And I met a couple of agencies in LA where initially they didn't want to get me on. And they said, Are, abhi to aapka teen char saal se koi film nahi aaya. I said, I've been doing theater. Then I think they really respected my uh, martial arts background, my theater background, my films, uh, national awarded films, uh, uh, and also as a producer, I have I am a national world producer producer as well. So I always say that the more rooted you are, more global you would be. And I loved my journey. Uh, you know, it has been a lot of ups and downs, Fariduna. I must say that, but uh, that's what happens in life, right? So after uh, after a point, my films, two films in Hindi also, which were shot but never released, and then I was literally thrown out of the film industry society. Like, ye to mat chuki, <laughs> like. But not for me, not for me. So I was alive, existing and fighting. And I was fighting with myself. I was like, okay, sportsmen never give up. You don't know how to, uh, you know, stop. You keep going. You keep working towards yourself because this is what you are. People will come and go in your life, but you have to stand with your own self. And exactly what I did, I stood by myself. My family stood with me and I kept fighting, training myself. And here I am. You're saying that you're the first choice for Tanuvar's Manu. Madhavan told you there was an actress who signed the movie, but I recommended Kangana's name and I recommend and everybody also approved that that actress who signed that movie was me. When you were signed, why did you not continue? How do you continue? Because it, it's not. Do you think it depends on me if I have to continue the, uh, the project? If the if for any reason, if the director thinks that, you know, if the hero is recommending somebody else and maybe the comfort zone is better, maybe he thinks that in this industry, I don't come from a background to push myself and say, no, I am going to do it. No, you are. I stand in a position where I'm helpless. Do you think I'm not helpless? Yes, I am. I am helpless to, if you want to remove me from a project so with this one, you think I can do anything? No, you can't. And nobody can do it. And there are a lot of actresses who have been removed and replaced by others. I think I take it this way that it was this was my destiny and it was for her. So I have no complaints on there, but since it happened in, on your interview, I just wanted to mention that. All right, so that is that is interesting. So did you not uh, speak to Ananji about it, An Anandil Rai? Everyone for years. I followed him for years and then he wanted to consider me for the next project also. <laughs> but another story of uh, Ananji, which then didn't happen. He spoke to me about the next project also. But what happens when you don't have a gift, it's okay. I have, uh, like, I really love him. He's an amazing person. He tried his best too. And he was, it was uh, his second film after Strangers, uh, Tanu Wells Manu, and then Ranjana and all of it. But I just took it very positively. I said, okay, I can do something in this. You know, I always felt that, uh, you know, not, not the director is not in a, is not in a very powerful position to cast. There are so many other aspects also which comes in the picture. And uh, maybe that was the reason because I never start questioning people. And this is the first time I'm telling anybody is I have no complaints. I feel just but this was what happened. And this is the truth. And you said that you were replaced from six films. Yeah, I was. 
And so were a couple of more actresses. I know a lot of fr- friends of mine in the industry. Mm. They are replaced, and they they don't give you any reason. What will you do? Uh, it must be it must be very demotivating because we we've, we've been having this this entire debate that is going on since the unfortunate demise of Sushant. That uh, the industry can be very harsh, uh, and um, there can be certain certain forces that can that can really that can can be rather ruthless in terms of treating the artists, and there can be even in, even in terms of the way certain media articles can be can, can be very unflattering in terms of when certain art, artists they have to be maybe shunted out or maybe certain perception has to be created about them to justify yeah. the reasons why they were not part of certain projects so those articles they pop up as well after all these things which has happened to me i have learned to keep a smile on my face mm. because uh, you know because you really cannot do anything so there were articles which have said really uh, funny things about me but uh, i really don't care much because most of the articles have always said positive things about me 80% articles i would say a journalist asked me this question aapne to acting chhod diya ab aap theater karti hain mujhe samajh nahi aaya ki main answer hi kya kar sakti hu iske liye to main sirf hans jati hu kyunki iska koi answer hi nahi you know to main chhod deti hu aise questions ke answer then you are totally right we get into a very low phase of uh, you know uh, facing all these things but this is the truth and this is the reality the only thing is that you have to be very strong not to take any um you know any step which will harm your family or your own personality and your hard work and you know because since sushant also came from bihar and you know when i came to patna everybody said ki oh sushant tumko kuch keh raha tha kya sushant se kya hua tum log last up kab mile the batao na kya kyunki ek there is a certain kind of uh, connection and emotion and language which connects all of us and then and and i had no answer because you know what could i answer bade bade log hi answer nahi kar pa rahe hain hum sab uh, But, but like it was it, it has been very low depressing but thankfully i have been staying with my family i come from a sports background where i don't know how to give up until as i'm breathing i am at it and i will be so that is the only way and you know if you can ask then ask the world that if they change or they replace actors and then at the same time faridun i had no work and i was not ready to say no to the projects which i don't connect with like i can't do double meaning cheap comedy uh, films i just don't connect i do umrao jan where do you think there's a connection i, I just can't I, i think you are successful if you are successful in saying no to what you don't want to do then you're successful it has been uh, it is i have uh, gone through a lot of lows and l- like really low time but and it's been taxing but i have been really successful in in saying no to what i didn't wanted to do एंड लास्ट के सात सात साढ़े सात साल इट वॉज लाइक साढ़े सती कहते हैं ना हमारी भाषा में साढ़े सती चढ़ गया था बट उसमें भी माई फैमिली इज ऑलवेज गिवन मी दैट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ एंड मी माई सेल्फ आई नेवर लेफ्ट माई हैंड एज लाइक नो 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 होल्ड ऑन होल्ड ऑन गो जॉगिंग गो थिएटर डू दिस गो रन मीट पीपल वॉच लॉर्ड ऑफ मूवीज डू दिस डू दैट सो आई हैव नो फ्रेंड्स एज सच लाइक बिकॉज आई डोंट हैव टाइम आई फील वेन आई एम नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग आई एम डूइंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स सो बेसिकली वर्किंग ऑन माई सेल्फ एंड एंड आई कैप मैनिफेस्टिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स विच हैव कम टू मी नाउ एंड आई एम सो थैंकफुल the only thank you yeah i am so grateful that's happened to me <laughs> otherwise people would have sent ki ye to guy and there are a lot of casting directors also they would say that either we are working with people who are in the rotation of working or newcomers so basically people like us are dead so not dead for me no 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 <laughs> you can laugh at it but not me i am here to stand ex- i exist and you will see it regarding the theater part of it um, whenever any actor new act- actor they they ask me for any advice my first reaction is that you know i don't know what to give you an advice but yes if you really are serious about it then go to prithvi and watch theater and do theater because if you are trained then uh, no one can stop you doing theater is a very healthy sign that an actor takes himself or herself seriously and longevity wo hone wali that is one thing secondly main aap se ek baat ka question cha raha tha jab sushant ke jab jab the uh, unfortunate unki jab death hui I, i i spoke to a lot of people and uh, several actors and actresses they felt a sense of catharsis uh, they felt that uh, now we can talk about how we had certain certain bad experiences that we we could not say earlier because we felt ki ye to part and parcel hai jaise aapne bhi kaha ki that 
what can you do this is part and parcel of the whole thing did you feel any sort of uh, self identification uh, because i think uh, the, the way you are telling me you may have gone through your phases of depression as well yeah did you have any any self identification with this sushant yeah. yeah definitely i think all the actors now everybody has faced some uh, in their own capacity and their own ways they have faced these kind of discrimination or cruelty from the industry and i definitely have felt the same man and since you know even though right now i'm talking about it it will be taken as an opportunity to you know uh, either do a pr or you know or, so any which ways you cannot talk about it that was the time when i had re- re- literally refused the news channels and everybody to talk i j- just went to two or three news channels where i thanked everybody and you know i said that i'm but i was not the one who was giving the interviews at that time because i didn't feel like it i was so hurt and i was so low at that time i didn't there was so much of a connection because i understand when people come from different small small parts and i can only talk about bihar since i come from there and shant also came from there we biharis we fight with an image you know we always have an image ki bihari hai na tu अरे तू तो बिहारी इस तरह का एक इमेज रहता है दूसरा ये कि हमारी लैंग्वेज एक हमेशा प्रॉब्लम रहती है यू नो कि अरे शो सब खराब होगा और तुम्हारी ये ये खराब होगी तो तुम उसको ऐसे क्यों बात कर रहे हो हमसे ऐसे कहा ऐसे कहा बात कर रहे हो जी तुमको तो बिहारी लोग तो आई ऑलवेज से कि नो वेन बिहारी गो आउट दे हैव एन इमेज इशू दे ऑलवेज फाइटिंग विद दैट एंड देन ऑलवेज फाइटिंग विद द लैंग्वेज एंड देसो ऑल्सो फाइटिंग विद द करियर्स द टू मच गोइंग ऑन एंड आई कम फ्रॉम अ मिडिल क्लास फैमिली इट्स नो दैट यू नो आई कम फ्रॉम यू नो ह्यूज रिच फैमिली टू पुट एवरी थिंग ऑन माई हेड एंड आई मेड माई ओन प्लेटर आई नेवर टेक a single penny from my parents after 10th standard i've studied on scholarship and i'm not ashamed of saying this why not i made everything on my own who has given me this so i did that and i totally feel that you know this kind of uh, connection with susha because backgrounds for the same same and i felt that you know maybe shayad kabhi aisa kar sakti thi kya you know i just felt that uh, क्योंकि ऐसा चीज में दिमाग आई हैव बीन अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग पर्सनालिटी सिंस माय चाइल्डहुड आई रिप्रेजेंटेड इंडिया व्हेन आई वाज इन नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड माय मदर हैज वोकन मी अप सेइंग सुपरस्टार उठो जब तक मुझे सुपरस्टार का स्पेलिंग भी नहीं मालूम था थ्री फोर इयर्स की होंगी चार साल की चार फोर्थ क्लास से मैं टाइकोंडो करती रही सो दैट स्ट्रेंथ इज ऑलवेज बिन देर माई मदर इज नेवर लेफ्ट माई साइड शी इज ऑलवेज बिन देर आई डोंट हैव दैट आई लॉस्ट हिम टू कैंसर ट्वेल्व ईयर्स बैक लेकिन वो स्ट्रेंथ रही थी जब मैं सुशांत के देख रही थी मैं सोच रही थी क्या मैं ऐसा कर सकती थी क्या क्या हो सकता था और ऐसा नहीं है कि नहीं हो सकता था फरीदून ऐसा हो सकता था लेकिन द थैंकफुली पेरेंट्स स्पोर्ट्स यू नो माय टाइकवांडो प्रैक्टिस एंड माय योगा ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड हैव एक्चुअली सेव्ड मी अदरवाइज yes this industry is very cruel and people coming from this industry like shatrugan sir and all of senior people have also said the same thing in the in the interviews uh, but you know i always realize that even though you talk so much you keep talking and keep talking when it will come to that whole real thing of signing and replacing it will keep happening so you kehte na khud hi ko kar buland itna ki khuda bhi puche bol teri raza kya hai wahi karni padegi otherwise kuch nahi ho sakta tum replace hote rahoge aur tum kuch nahi kar sakte ho karke batao kya karoge interestingly uh, hum log priyanka ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain jab priyanka hollywood mein jab wo gayi hain wo ek aisa daur tha jab ki hindustan mein she was being written off yes and uh, there were yes. all sorts of stories that were floating about her and that uh, the sort of movies that she's been getting and all those things do you find that that as a as an inspiration as well that since you are making this move to to the west i think she's did, done a great job you know she has the strength she has the conviction she has the power to do it it's in her voice it is it's in her eyes it's in her personality the way she walks the way she talks everything mm-hmm. she is totally self made and no matter what people say and what happens i don't actually i don't know what people say but i only know that priyanka has made it so big strategizing everything and putting your mind into something is also not an easy thing like what is it that she has not done she has done everything you know for uh, i think that was the time when she was written off and she was doing second leads or or you know parallel leads which Pri- it's not priyanka to do it like we don't see priyanka doing those kind of projects and and then the music video came you know uh, in my city i guess you know that came and then priyanka you know she's always uh, elevated herself from the ground 
you keep saying things and she'll keep laughing and and i know what what that laughter is all about because she is literally empowering herself in every which way she she's a great singer she's great you know look at her body the body language she has she has a great i i think she, she has been an inspiration and is an inspiration for a lot of us who have gone literally down and pulled up themselves up and they stand right in front of all these huge people saying no i don't want to do a project with you because i am what i am and i will do it myself in my terms and conditions and it is amazing and in a way yes i follow the path and i to i'm totally inspired by the way she carries herself really commendable that the way you've been fighting it out and um, many times we don't realize it but um, the people that we know of and the sort of struggles that they have had and, and the sort of trials and tribulations that they have been through can be quite inspiring so i genuinely hope that um, you do us proud you you already doing us proud and uh, keep on going on when people uh, ask you for the advice of the theater coming from the horse's mouth i started doing theater after doing some 10 movies and trust me it was a tough thing because they thought actress her time pe nahi aayegi ye nahi karegi wo nahi kare i never missed my uh, my rehearsals i've always been on time because i think when you respect what you're getting then only you get what you want and i have always been very excited about the theater and when i went to uh, london shooting theater was one thing which helped me so much because i remembered the whole script and the dialogues of everyone in the project and they started laughing on me mm. because there were was one time when they missed two pages of the shoot and i'm like you know you missed third uh, 67 and 68 page and the, the director is like how do you know it's not even your scene i said i know it i know the whole script and then they and this all comes from the theater background when you know everything about the script and you know i i'm so glad theater happened to me it is one of my strongest weapon to do projects and you you are totally right you, they must do theater even it's for a year or two no no absolutely absolutely any any actor who can who can pursue a theater um, will be here for a, for a, for a long time because theater doesn't necessarily teach you only acting it it also teaches you the culture it i think it evolves you as an actor and as, as an, a human being as well as a human so, being as yeah, well for sure Thank you Neetu and all the best wishes lovely talking to you thank, thank you so much, so much likewise for it done bye